Hey everyone, so today I have a spring break haul. Basically, these are some things that I bought for my trip that I'm going on for spring break, which I'm going on a cruise, and um, it's going to Nassau, Bahamas, Freeport, Bahamas, Bahamas, why I said Bahamas, and then the last place is Key West. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first thing I did was I went to PacSun, which is a store that really reminds me of like spring and summer because they have so many like beachy surfer clothes and I just really like the vibe that that store gives off. Um, so I got this sweater or sweatshirt and it was on sale and it's like this neon coral color and I really like this because even though I am going on a cruise at night, um, the ship is really cool and they have all the fans on and stuff and sometimes when you're sunburned, uh, like your skin gets really cold. I don't know. I'm sure someone will explain that in the comments, but at least it happens to me. So I really wanted a nice, soft, comfy sweatshirt that I could throw on if I got chilly. And this is actually like such a soft material. It has kind of that like worn in look and it's a hoodie and I just, I absolutely love it. And I got it on sale because, um, I guess, I don't know, even though it's like a spring color, I guess they counted it as something for the winter. So I like that. And again, I got that at PacSun. Um, the two places that I'm actually showing you stuff are from Forever 21 and PacSun. Um, the next thing is actually a dress from Forever 21. And I actually really love Forever 21's bandage style dresses. They're actually pretty thick material, and so I feel like they're better made than a lot of their other dresses because... Um, the fabric's just a little bit thicker and it holds up a little bit better. So this one is black and nude. It looks white, but it's definitely like a cream nude color. And it just looks like this. Again, this is a great thing to have, especially for a cruise, because at night you kind of were supposed to wear a little bit of fancier clothing to the dinner place. And I like this, and I think black and white, again, I'll get a lot of wear out of that dress because I wear black and white all the time, plus black and white is kind of appropriate for many different occasions. The next thing is another black and white dress, which is funny, um, but this was not like planned. Basically, I got this dress because it looks like a mod style dress, and it reminds me a lot of one that I saw at BB that was like $90, and I was like, I'm not going to spend $90 on a dress like that. This one was only $17.80, so quite a bit of a difference. Um, it has this zipper detailing, and I think this is this is actually still the back, but you could wear this as a front if you wanted to. But the front has this high neckline, um, the white, and then the black. And the cool thing is, this gives a really neat optical illusion because the black really slims you, and it slims like your waist and everything, and so then the white is like shown. And I saw someone, I think it was, I want to say Kate Winslet? I don't know if that's right. a dress like this on one of the red carpets and they were commenting on how nicely it made her figure look because of the black outlining the white. So I thought that would be a cool dress to try and I wanted to pick it up. Okay, this next top is from Forever 21 and I already know I'm going to get some comments that it looks like a grandma top. But it is this cream color with this really pretty um, white floral kind of pattern and it has kind of these fluttery sleeves. I'm going to go ahead and put this on because it's really cute and I know people will say it looks too old for my age and stuff, but I really like it because it kind of gives that like vintage really soft, pretty vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on and then I'll show you. Okay, so hopefully you can see what this looks like on. It has just a really kind of fluttery, um, kind of like flowy look to it and I really love the sleeves. It's kind of like, looks a little bit 70s inspired, but basically it ties up so you can just tie it up like this. Um, or, I mean, you can't really leave it down, it looks kind of weird. You could tuck it in, but the way it kind of ties up, I feel like gives it a little bit of a younger vibe, and you can kind of make it just look a little less formal and like old looking, and kind of just have it look a little bit fresher and younger. Okay, and as you can see, I still have my tank top on because I'm going to go ahead and put this shirt on because this is another one that I feel like I need to put on so you guys can explain why it's cute, or so you can understand why it's cute. I love this color. I'm obsessed. It's kind of almost the color that I was wearing in my sweater. What is this color? I'm asking you guys because to me this would be, it says mint. This would be kind of like an aqua mint. It's not really green. It's a little more blue. I love this. I love these sheer billowy shirts that you can tie up. To me they are so springish and they are really kind of vacation-y and like laid back. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on and you guys can see it. Alright, so let's move that chair. Okay, so as you can see, it has a really pretty Peter Pan collar, which is so incredibly in. So what I would do is I would actually take a necklace that looks like this that would accentuate the collar, and I would put it like as tight as it can go so it goes right under the collar. I think that's so pretty. But um, for a more casual look, what I would do with this shirt is I would first go ahead and unbutton a few buttons. And I know people are going to ask, what would you wear underneath it? It's sheer. 
Um, you could do a tank top, you could do a bandeau top if you want to, or you could wear it as like a swimsuit cover-up over a swimsuit because it is like a sheer billowy shirt. Alright, so now that the collar is undone, it looks a little bit less formal and business-like. And then as you can see, it just is kind of long and boxy, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and unbutton a few more buttons. And then what you can do is you can actually just go ahead and tie it up like that. And it just gives it a more kind of younger and not so businessy look. And I think it's cute. And again, kind of just resort-ish. Like it looks just very casual and um, vacation-y. You could also go ahead and tuck it in, which I'll show you what that looks like as well. So yeah, if you wanted to go ahead and have it tucked in as well, it kind of gives just a more formal vibe. So whatever you're feeling, you can kind of um, make it work for you. But I love this shirt, mainly for the color. I just think it's such a pretty color. As far as other things, the bandage skirt that I have on is also from PacSun right now. And I got another one. I got one in white. And I do not own a white bandage skirt. And I love this because with that coral top, it looks so pretty, or that mint green top, it looks so pretty, really fresh. Once my skin is tan, it'll look even better. So I love that, and I got that from Pakistan as well. Um, for Forever She Won, I also got this top. Again, it has a little Peter Pan collar, lace detailing, and then it's just a long, um, kind of billowy shape. And then it has a high-low, so it's a little longer in the back and shorter in the front. I would probably go ahead and tuck it in in the front and then let the back hang out. And I would probably do this with like some ripped up jeans or something. I just think it's so pretty and I love all the lace detailing. I would keep the collar buttoned up on this one because I feel like most of the focus should be up here on all this detail. So I love that and that is from Forever 21. The next dress that I got is from Forever 21 as well. And it's just a little black dress which for me seemed like a necessity even though I have so many. But I love this one. I absolutely love it. Um... It has like this really pretty little detailing around the neck and then it has this kind of like interesting material. It's almost like a ruching kind of material and it just gives it a little bit of um, personality I suppose. I love it. Black dresses, great for having on vacation, great for having in general. So just, you know, had to do it. This next shirt is from First Human as well and I like it. Some people probably won't. Um, it's called a butterfly shirt. Because again, it kind of just has like flowy sleeves. I love the navy cobalt color. It's actually more of like a navy, but it's looking a little bit like of a bright cobalt. But it's actually kind of navy in person. And the back has this really cool butterfly design, which you could wear in the front if you wore a bandeau top. Or you could wear it in the back, I guess, is how you're supposed to wear it. But there's no tag in the back, so you could do it either way. But I just think that is so cool. And I really love anything that has like lace or detailing or just something cool and interesting to it. So... Um, that is everything that I got besides accessories. I did get two things from Forever 21 because I can never go in there and not buy an accessory. For some reason, they just always sucker me in. This first necklace is this gold and black, and I love that it's all like put together, like right here, it's attached. So it shows that it has the true strand look. I'm sorry, I'm like getting all jumbled up. It looks like it's two different strands, but since it's attached right here, they're not going to get all twisted, if that makes sense. And I think this would even go with, like, the sweater that I have on right now. It just kind of adds a little bit to any outfit. And I think the black beads are also nice, especially for all kind of the solid color tops and dresses that I bought. And this last necklace is one that was inspired by Miley Cyrus. I will insert the photo that I saw of her wearing, and it looks very similar to this. Alright, so now that you saw my inspiration, I think this necklace is pretty similar. And again, anything that's turquoise, I pretty much love. So I like that. And I like that it's a long necklace as well. It kind of gives that like bohemian, earthy vibe. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's a lot of stuff, but I'm so excited to go on vacation. And hopefully I will do some um, new spring fashion videos if you guys would like to see that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone.